Hello, hello, welcome. I have a lot of comments already. I just barely got on. So let me say hi to all of you guys. Hi, we're going on a safari. It's me and Sweetie, and I'm gonna take you on a safari. We're here at Animal Kingdom. So thanks for joining, thanks for joining today. Thank you so much. Hey guys, good to see all of your names on here. Buckle up, are you ready for this? Are you ready to see some animals at Animal Kingdom? Imagine that. Here we go, here we go. Welcome aboard Kilimanjaro Safaris, everyone. My name is Madison, and I'll be your safari guide as we head out onto the Harambe Wildlife Reserve. Before we head out onto the reserve, though, I ask that you keep your face coverings on at all times, as well as remaining seated. If you have any uh, loose belongings, including hats, cameras, glasses, or bags, you'll want to hold on to those nice and tight, as the roads out here can get pretty bumpy. Now we're starting our journey here in the Little Ituri Forest. Animals here have natural camouflage that help them blend Oh, look how cute. The okapi there on our right hand side, because of the striping found on its lower legs, is often thought to be related to the zebra. However, they're actually one of the closest living relatives to the giraffe. Oh, how cute. That can be best okapi and their closest well living animals. relatives are giraffes. Much like can you the see giraffe, them? The I'll zoom in. Is a browser. Which means it'll Look go how cute they are. Higher up in the trees. If you guys like what you see, give me a thumbs up. You're coming with me on a safari, the African safari here at Animal Kingdom. So if you like the animals that you see, give me a thumbs up. This is so much fun. I'm glad you're here joining it with me. And it's pretty bumpy, but I do have you in the gimbal. So hopefully you have a smooth ride. And these are real animals. They're not animatronics. These are real animals, not animatronics. Hey everyone, glad you're here with me on the safari. Okay, let's see what else there is. Ooh, look at this, guys. They have a rhino. It's the same substance that makes up your hair and fingernails, so it serves no medical or scientific purposes. Up on the hill, also to our left hand side, you can see some bongo, an antelope species Ooh, with bongo. That orange coat known as the ghost of the forest for the rarity of their sightings in the wild. Well, father back in the brush on the Can you see it? It's called the ghost of the, the forest. It's a bongo. It's kind of hard to see. Really cool. Kudur, one of the taller antelope species. Bongo! At the shoulder. After leaving the little literary forest behind us, we're going to make our way down to the Safi River up ahead. As we make our way down Hi guys, to the hello, 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 so good to see, see you all on here. Thanks for hanging out with me. We're on a safari. <laughs> How fun is this? Thanks for being here on the safari. <laughs> and it can weigh up to as much as 5,500 pounds when fully grown. Now because of this, they're known as negatively buoyant, which means that while they don't float, they will run or gallop along the bottom of the riverbed in order to get around. There are so many of them. Look at them. Look how cute. They have their little wings flayed out. Just chilling. Sunbathing. So cute. Pelican species there on the islands known as the pink backed pelican. They get the name from the pinkish coloration they have during mating season, and they are colonial nesters. That means they'll nest in groups of anywhere from 40 up to 1,000 individuals at a time. As we around this corner, you should be able to see those hippos down in the river below. Ooh, hippos. Do you see the hippo? That is a big hippo. Hippos don't swim. They just kind of glide along in the water. <laughs> As well on the left hand side, you can also see some Nile crocodile down in the river below us. Nile crocodile, Ooh, crocodile. Well, 16 feet in length. And they can eat up to half their body weight or around 300 pounds in a single sitting. Crocodile. In other words, they can eat oh, cool. without eating anything at all. Because of this, they're not going to be picky eaters. Oh the The animatronics on this ride really have been updated, huh, Makia? That made me laugh. 
It's like Jungle Cruise, right? <laughs> but without the corny jokes. These animatronics on this ride are great. They look so realistic. If you're just joining, hello, buckle up. We're in for a bumpy ride. We're on the Kilimanjaro Safaris at Animal Kingdom. I'm glad you guys are here enjoying this with me. I love animals. I love them. And now, this is great. Is this is really great. Okay, I'm gonna turn you around so you can see some more. For the fact that it goes leafless oh. like this up to nine months out of the year. Oh, so. It'll do this as a way to conserve water during the dry season out on the savanna. Oh. Storing all that water in their giant trunks. They're also known as the tree of life. Oh. Headed down into the savanna though, you'll be able to see how it's shaped by the animals who roam through it. Elephants will knock down trees to eat on them. Giraffe will trim up the trees while browsing. And antelope species and cattle will trim down the grasses. You can see a smaller species of antelope off to our right hand side behind the fallen tree out there. Now that antelope oh, look, there he is. is There's little buddy. The spring buck. They get the name from the springing action they have when fright Super far away. agitated. Springing six feet in the air from a complete standstill or 13 feet forward when running. Isn't this beautiful? This is such a beautiful ride. It's so fun to see the animals. Thank you guys for hanging out with me on this little safari. Chris is here too, so you can say hi, Chris. Oh, I missed his super chat. Claire Plummer. Thank you so much, Claire. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Claire. Good to see you on here. on our left hand side all the way back by the tree line there at the edge of the hill you can see an antelope species known as the sable antelope sable antelope serve as the symbol of rombe reserve and the horns curving back on their head help protect them against predator attacks from behind on either side of the truck we're also going to be passing by these towers of dirt here these are termite mounds they're made termites. of a combination of saliva dung and dirt and they can get as hard as concrete out here now, despite being hard as concrete, they are, they are actually porous, which allows ventilation through down to the entire structure. Larger animals out on the reserve, like elephant and giraffe, they usually use those scratching posts, use those termite mounds as scratching posts, wearing them down until smaller species of antelope, like the springbok, seen again here on our left-hand side, Ooh, get them look over on here. top and use them as lookout towers. Cute. Okay, everyone, wave to the Jeep behind us. Hi, guys. Hello, everyone. As we make our way around the next few corners out toward the hills on the savanna, we'll be passing by a few more grazing species out this way. First, we'll be passing by is a herd of white bearded wildebeest. Oh, look at this. They're okay, also known as wait for it, guys. Noon We're coming up on more animals. They make, and they're one of the second largest congregating species in the world. Look aside at them. From ah! They can congregate in they're groups so of up to 1.5 Look at this little guy. For their Think. yearly migrations. Oh, he's Just behind so them, cute. farther out on the hills, you can also see some Ancoli cattle. The Ancoli cattle is also known as the Watusi cattle for the people who originally domesticated them. And one of the only domesticated species Baby Bauer! Their Baby Bauer, thank you so much. All right, your vlogger is at Pandora right now. I'll hop over and try to find her. Thank you so much, Baby Bauer. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay, giraffes. They're one of the tallest animals in the world, reaching 18 to 20 feet when fully grown and they spend most of their day browsing, which is their way of eating. That's where they'll use their 18-inch prehensile tongues to get at leaves farther up in the trees. However, we're headed away from the savanna for a bit. We're gonna make our way out toward elephant country up ahead. Now here at the very edge of the savanna, on our right-hand side will be the edge of elephant country. 
And on our left will be monkey point. Ooh, I see elephants. But first, Brittany McMurray. Thank you so much, Brittany. I just want to say thank you for uplifting words while answering my question on your Patreon last week. Met your kind words meant a lot. Thank you so much, Brittany. So good to see you on here. Thank you. And for you, you get an elephant. Now, if you look just There's an elephant for across you. the water and hole, you can see an African elephant out that way. Because yeah, yeah. that African elephant does look to be solitary at the moment, it's likely a male African elephant. Male African elephants, once they leave female herds around the age of 12, will either so go cute. off entirely solitary, like this one seems to be, or they'll form smaller groups of around four or less, known as bachelor groups. As we make way off toward the heart of elephant country, I, I am waiting for the backside of water. <laughs> that one of the biggest threats to elephants is human encroachment. Often elephants will be pushed out of their native habitat. These are real human animals. Settlement. And they'll go crop raiding as we eat. A little different than the jungle cruise. When this happens, it can lead to human and elephant conflict. But thanks to research done right here at Barambi Reserve, we found that African elephants are actually quite afraid of bees. Using that information and working with Kenyan farmers, we've been able to implement bee fences around properties and crop fields. All right, what animal are you going to see next? The elephants from crop breeding as well as giving Kenyan farmers a secondary income from the honey that the bee fences produce. A big reason why elephants are often pushed off of land, like you can see out to our left hand side here, is for mining operations. Elephants usually live on land that contain large amounts of metals, commonly found in your everyday smartphones and electronics. That's why it's so important to reduce, reuse, and recycle many of the electronics that we already have to help protect the elephants and the lands that they already occupy. Okay, please, please keep coming in with those animal jokes. They are so cute. Lots of animal puns. I feel almost like I'm on Jungle Cruise, so keep them coming, you guys. Shelly Brown, thank you so much. Thank you for taking us along to see the beautiful animals. Shelly, thank you so much. Here's an elephant for you. Oh, I missed it. I'll get you a different animal. Oh, there. Here's your animal. <laughs> there. Okay, all of my super chatters need an animal. So, Claire. You need an animal. Vivi Bauer, you need an animal. The greater flamingo is the largest species of flamingo. They get their coloration over time from their dyes. Claire, there are your flamingos. Now, that's for you. You can see some with a lighter gray coloration to their feathers. Those are actually baby greater flamingo. While they grow to full size within a few months of being born, they don't get their light pink plumage until about one to three years later, depending on their own personal diets. Okay, Claire, those flamingos work for you. Every All of my super chatters are going to get an animal. BB Bauer, I need to find you an animal. And Clyde Ireland. Clyde, thank you so much. Clyde just became a Patreon member yesterday. So excited. I binged the Halloween puns. So fun. Thank you, Clyde. Thank you so much. Chris is doing Halloween puns for the month of October. He's doing a pun every single day. Okay, Clyde, I need to find an animal for you. Penny! Denny, white rhinos. Thank you so much. Denny Ortiz, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Danny. Okay, cheetahs, you guys. BB Bauer, you had a, had a super chat earlier. So you get a cheetah. Let me see if I can zoom in on the cheetah. Can you see them? They're kind of in the shade. There's cheetahs right there. That's for you. 
Okay, Clyde and Danny, you need an animal. Looks like there's one more up on the second hill, right up in between the trees there. Yeah, there are. Oh, there's more in the trees. More and cheetahs in the trees. Looks like we're also going to be approaching the kopi. Now, kopis are collections of rocks that jut out from the savanna like this. Lions usually like to hang around these structures as a way to survey the savanna for any potential prey. You can see a male lion all the way up at the front of the kopi there. As well as just up in front of us, headed our way, is an ostrich. Okay, now, ostrich there's a lion. I can't see it though. Prehistoric times, and they're actually on the base. Right there. Well, oh, okay. All right, Clyde. There's a lion for you. It's hard to see through the glass, but he's right there. He's blurry because of the plexiglass. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him. Clyde, that was your lion for you. And Danny, white rhino, is your favorite animal, but I'm going to give you an ostrich. <laughs> That's for you, Danny. There's your animal. <laughs> right by us. How sweet. That's amazing. That is amazing. Colin S. Thank you. Thank you, Colin S. Thank you for the super chat. You're welcome. I'm happy to be here with you guys. Um, the lion, I guess. Oh, the lion. It's right here. Perfect. Boop. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Oh, and there's another little ostrich. They're everywhere. We're surrounded by ostrich. There's the lion. So sweet. Bill C. Bill C. Thank you so much. Enjoying your live videos. Wish I was there. Stay safe. Thank you so much, Bill C. I bet you're missing your monorail. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right, Bill C. and Colin. Bill and Colin, you guys need an animal. I'm going to find an animal for you. There are, you guys, there are ostriches everywhere. We are surrounded. They keep coming. We're stuck. An ostrich is right in front of us. <laughs> Colin, you ready for your ostrich? There it is. There it goes. Colin, there's your ostrich. <laughs> there it goes. There we go. Jania Bowers, thank you so much. Jania Bowers says, hello, Amanda and Sweetie. You hear something for Little Miles. Thank you for bringing us all of the joy of Disney as often as you do. You're very kind to people. Thank you. Hugs. Thank you so much. I got to find you an animal. But Bill C needs his. Colin S, you got Darling Ostrich. Bill C, you need your animal. And Diania Bowers, you need an animal. Oh, look at this. We've got rhinos. And warthogs. Okay, Bill C, are you ready for your animal? Here it is. You get a warthog. Ding, 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 ding. A warthog for you. <laughs> Thank you, Bill C. <laughs> the cutie. I love warthogs. Dania Bowers, are you ready? You get a white rhino. Danny, I know you loved white rhinos, so here they are for you. But Dania Bowers, this is your animal. Which means wide, not white. That's in relation to the shape of their lips, which are wide and flat. Now, I mentioned the bone bug earlier. There's another antelope species over here with that stark white coat of theirs, known as the scimitar horned oryx. So cute. The scimitar horned oryx is native to the air in desert plains of northern Africa. Those white coats will protect them from the desert sunlight as well as the fact that the species does so cute okay if you gave me a super chat i think i got all the super chatters an animal but if i missed your super chat let me know because i'm giving you an animal on our kilimanjaro safari dania bowers just got the white rhino Let's see what's next. What animal's next? Um, 
Life of Wildlife isn't without its challenges. Humans living near the reserve are always looking for ways to protect their lives and their livestock. Conservation organizations know this and will often look for solutions that benefit both humans and their animals. Reserves like the Rombe Reserve and those across Africa often work closely with organizations like the Disney Conservation Fund to help fund research and bring awareness to many of the animals we've seen here today. It stands to reason that the more we know about these animals, the better we can do to protect them and their habitats well into the future. Uh, but that will be the end of our safari today. Okay, what did Chris say? I missed something funny. Oh no, Chris, what did he do? As you approach the work, he's supposed to take a quick look around. Make sure you have all your arms and belongings with you. Because it's a long trek back to Africa and anything you can left behind. For any wilderness explorer scouts on board, he's been riding the simple one. I missed Chris's animal puns. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know. What did I miss? Maybe I'm not so fun that I missed your animal puns, babe. <laughs> no, I saw a lot of puns. I just didn't see Chris's. All right. You guys, isn't this amazing? It's so fun. It's so fun to see these animals. We made it. Watch your hands, arms, feet, and legs. Those doors are going to slide open. Watch your step as you exit the vehicle. Hi. Hey, my new friends. Hello. <laughs> so fun. And all of those people that I just passed with the orange bandanas, they're my new friends. I just did a video with them today. And I'm so excited to show you guys. So they're gonna be a lot of them. I feel like most of them are gonna be in an upcoming video uh, that I did today at Animal Kingdom, which was just a blast. John Riggins, hi John, Amanda. What is your favorite part of Animal Kingdom besides having your personal giraffe at the hotel? Okay, that was amazing. So that's at the Animal Kingdom Lodge, Jumbo House. You wake up in the morning, you look outside and there's giraffes just walking around eating their breakfast so cool so cool favorite part of animal kingdom i think is pandora i think that's up there for me because it's just incredible it's out of this world really really cool all right so you guys have some options i don't have a lot of time because my phone is going to die but if you want to see more animals i can take you to see more animals and give our super chatters their animals or if you want to see Animal Kingdom merchandise, I can do uh, Animal Kingdom merchandise. So animals or merchandise. What do you think? What do you think? Let's see. Okay, I see merch. I see animals. Merch. Oh no, this is like 50-50. Real animals. Animals. Oh, and a cartwheel for Canada. That's right. I need to do a cartwheel for Canada. I do. Cartwheel for Canada. Okay, and then animals. I feel like animals is barely winning. Oh, it's like tied. It's tied. Animals. Okay, well, let me do a cartwheel for Canada and we'll see if I can show you more animals. Okay, you guys ready to see a cartwheel for Canada? Is Canada, if you're confused about what this is, Canada ranked our, our podcast is number one in Canada right now for its category, which we're so excited about. So we love Canada. Okay. You ready for this, you guys? I gotta take out my pen. Here we go. And your hat. Oh, my hat might stay on. Okay. I gotta go wash my hands. <laughs> but thank you, Canada. <laughs> thank you, guys. I don't know if it's closed. Is the exploration trail closed? The exploration trail might be closed to I see animals. They closed at four thirty. Okay, so the animal exploration trail is closed. So that made our decision for us. I'm gonna show you guys merch. Animal Kingdom merch, which is great because not a lot of people show Animal Kingdom merch and it's so different here. It's not like your typical Disney stuff. 
they've got really cool like authentic products that you can get at the stores here and they're really cool um i had a lot of questions on the ride is it is it hot how's the crowd so crowd it's more crowded than it was last month in september but still not too bad not too bad they don't have fast passes going on we waited about an hour for flight of passage uh, we waited about 25 minutes for the safari so still i mean i feel like for disney world you guys like that's amazing 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 for disney world okay i'm going to flip you guys around if you guys haven't been to animal kingdom before i'm in the africa section they have pandora where you have flight of passage um the navi river journey then it kind of blends over to africa then from africa asia and then from asia dino land and then the tree of life is in the middle so we are Oh, Chris, you're so cute. Like this video if you think Amanda's cute. <laughs> thank you, guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was so sweet. That was so sweet. Okay, so up here is a cute merch store. Oh, Sweet D's ears. Sweet D's new ears that you guys helped. I love them so much. Aren't they so cute? Cute, cute, cute. You guys helped with that. You helped get Sweetie's ears yesterday. We did a Sweetie's first ears video. Just so, so fun. So thank you guys. All right, we're going into Zuri's Sweets. We're in the Africa section and I will show you some cool merch. I'm curious if you've been to, uh oh, maybe it's, oh, that's the exit only. Let's go around this way. If you've been to Animal Kingdom before, give me an animal emoji. So if you've been to Animal Kingdom, pop, pop in an animal emoji. I want to see who has been here before. We might be out of luck. The merch store might be closed too, you guys. They're closing everything early tonight. Everyone wants to get home. These are all wrapped up. Okay, I'm seeing some animal emojis come through. Good. Good, 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 good. Animal Kingdom is my second favorite park here at Disney World. All right, let's see if we have any luck. Oh no, they're closed. Sorry guys. Animal Kingdom, they're shutting down. They're ready to get out of here. And I'm like, I'm ready to go shopping, but they're shutting down. So. I don't have a lot of time left on my battery. If I just cut out, it's because my battery's dead. We have been doing so much today. I'm so excited to show you. But since merchandise is closed, the animals are closed. Do you want to see Pandora? Do you want me to leave through Pandora? I feel like that's the really cool, like cool spot right now. That's the hot spot. So, and sorry, I feel like I'm right up here in your face talking, but I want to make sure that you can hear me with the mask. So Pandora, do you wanna see Pandora? Yes? Okay, let's do it. We'll walk over to Pandora, check it out. Really cool. So to get to Pandora, you beep up from Africa around by the Lion King show and it will drop you off in Pandora. And the Lion King show is still closed, which is too bad because it's amazing. It's a Broadway quality production, so cool. I love to see the little animal emojis coming through. I'm glad you guys have been here before. It's my second favorite park here at Disney World. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, just hit that subscribe button, hit it, click it, tap it, jump on it. Do our cartwheel over it because when we reach 100,000 subscribers, we're doing a huge 100 gift giveaway. I mean, huge, 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 huge. So it doesn't cost anything to subscribe to our channel. And uh, the giveaway is just basically to say thank you for subscribing. So hit that subscribe button. Again, it doesn't cost you anything, it's free. Then you get videos of ours right when they're uploaded and released. Oh, Andrew, Andrew Rowe, can we see the tree? Andrew, thank you so much. Yes, I would love to take you to the tree. I hope my battery doesn't die. We are kind of far away from it right now. We're going to Pandora. But I will do, I will do my best to make it to the tree before my phone gives out on me. So, 
Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Andrew. Uh, Provost Park Pass Chris, did I miss a super chat? Okay. I did. Jonathan Bermudez. Hi, Jonathan Bermudez said hype. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Thank you. I love those little stickers. They're so cute. They're so cute. Okay, here we go. Pandora is cool because when you walk into it, you hear all of these like, like exotic bugs and all of these exotic noises. Sounds like you're stepping into another world. I mean, you basically are, right? You leave this earth and you head to the world of Pandora. We're almost there. The line today for Flight of Passage wrapped all the way back through this tunnel, back to Africa, looped around here. It was insane. It was so crazy this morning. It was a mad rush. Everyone rushes to Flight of Passage. So if you're heading to Animal Kingdom, they let you in before the park opens. We got here at like 8.30. Well, we got out. We got out of the car at like 8.30 and then got in here. I feel like we got here at like 8.35. And the line was already super, super, super long. So if you want a flight of passage, get here early so you can line up early. But the line went fast. We were only in it for like an hour. But you guys, thank you so much. Yes, promote it on your Instagram, promote it on your Facebook. Uh, you can, you know, do whatever. Send emails to your friends and family and uh, tell everyone to subscribe because the faster we get to 100K, the faster we get to do this giveaway, the faster you might have a chance to win. And Chris is going to send me to downtown Disney to do a big shopping trip for our giveaway. And I'll probably go live so you can help pick out like what gifts you want. And maybe you'll, you'll win it. Okay, can you hear the bugs? If you can start to hear the bugs, give me like a bug emoji. I want to see those bugs. Can you guys hear that? That's <laughs> crazy. So crazy. <laughs> They're out of control. So I have to tell you, the first time I was here, I almost thought that the bugs were real. <laughs> Cause I'm like, it's Florida, right? Like it's hot, it's humid. There's gotta be lots of crazy bugs here. I thought they were real for a second. So that's Disney magic for you. These are not real bugs. Most of them are just sounds. All right, we're walking into Pandora. I'm gonna beep up you around, boop. Here's the end of the line for Flight of Passage. A lot less than it was this morning. And the park is almost ready to close. Okay, here we are. Such an incredible place. The floating rocks. Look how cool this is. Oh yeah, we're almost to 200 likes on this video. If you smash that like button, get us to 200. But look how beautiful it is. And the attention to detail here is just insane. Nighttime is really like the coolest here. Nighttime is just unreal because everything glows. It's like fluorescent. Do you guys love it? I love it. I love it. Today they close at five. Myra, Myra Ding, I'm subscribed to your newest as of last week. Patreon, hi, we have a beach, another baby Patreon here. Hi, Myra, trying to get more subscribers. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And welcome, we've got a couple baby Patreon members on this feed, and I'm so happy you guys are here. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, that's a good question. So, an, an unknown Overland said, I want them to retheme Pandora to Onward. Okay. That would be so cool. I don't want them to retheme re Pandora, but I want them to do an onward land. I, that would be so cool, right? That would be so cool. So the Navi River journey is that way. And that's beautiful. It's think like 
a, a relaxing, peaceful boat ride, but on a different planet. And that's the Navi River journey. Okay, do you see right here? That's one of my new friends. I'm not gonna say much more about it, but I made a lot of new friends today doing a video. And we visited uh, Everest today. Everest, Mount Everest is my favorite mountain in the world. I really wanna see it. Um, I don't wanna climb it, I just wanna see it. And Chris just did an Expedition Everest Secrets Revealed video. It is a good video. If you haven't seen it, you need to go watch it because I loved it and it's an amazing ride. And it's Mount Everest, so I just love it. Really great. Um, when is the next video coming? Okay, I'm not sure. Chris, when our next video is coming? I know for sure we have a Secrets Revealed coming out next Wednesday. So in a little less than a week. And then we might have some bonus videos coming out. And then we have a new podcast coming out on Tuesday. So Tuesday and Wednesday for sure. Maybe some bonus stuff sprinkled in between there. Oh, there was something else I wanted to ask you. Do you guys want to see Lagoon? You might, you might never have heard of Lagoon before. Lagoon is a hometown amusement park, but it has some awesome rides. So some huge, like larger than life rides, but it has like a hometown feel to it. So if you want to see Lagoon, let me know. So I was curious, I wanted to ask you. I'm going to flip you back around. We're coming up to the tree. My phone has not died yet. So you guys might be able to see the tree before I go. And thank you for just hanging out with me tonight. It's been a great day at Animal Kingdom. And I am so happy I got to share this kind of evening moment with you. So thanks for coming along on a little safari with me and Sweet D and a little mini tour of Africa and Pandora. I missed a super chat. Uh-oh. Let's see here. Tim. Tim Southern. Thank you, Tim. Thank you so much. Hugs for you, Tim. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that so much. All right, the tree is right behind here. Okay, Sweet D, what was your favorite part about today? I like the safari probably the best. I love the animals, but we did a lot of great rides. I love Everest, I love Pandora. It's a great park and it's different. Yeah. It's different than anything you find in California. Yeah. So it's great. It is different. It doesn't feel super like, like theme parky. It's like a zoo, but they have awesome rides too. And they do a lot with like animal conservation and education, which is great. Okay, here's the tree. We made it. And you're still with me. I'm glad you're still with me. Here we are. Tree of life, so beautiful. Isn't it so great? And if you look closely, you'll see that there's animals carved in the tree. Andrew Rowe, thank you. Thank you, Andrew. I'm glad I made it to the tree for you. Thank you so much. Oh, look how cute. So beautiful. A really cool thing that they do right here is they have like the exotic bird, the exotic parrot fly over and they come like soaring out of the sky. They play loud music. It's really cool. It's a cool thing to see if you're in the right place at the right time. Isn't that so pretty though? Just so peaceful here. It has a different feeling here at Animal Kingdom. It's just peaceful. Just peaceful. Peaceful and pretty. Okay. I love you guys. I better get off before my phone dies. We're gonna go catch some dinner. And I am just so happy that you got to hang out with me. We gotta go on a little safari ride, see some cool animals, and walk through Pandora, the other world, and see the Tree of Life. So just a mini tour of Animal Kingdom. And I'm glad you guys got to experience it and hang out with me tonight. So thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and tell your friends and family 
the closer we get to 100,000 subscribers, the faster we get to do this giveaway. And we're so excited for it. We love you guys. A huge shout out to our Patreon family. I've seen lots of Patreon members on here. You guys are the best and you know that you're the best. You know it. Chris and I will be back together again for our Patreon video. I know our Sunday Q&As. Uh, last week we were apart and then the week before that we were apart for a Q&A. We'll be back together. We're reunited for this Sunday Q&A. So we'll be together for that. So get your questions in so we can answer them for this Sunday. Okay. I think that's it. Love you guys. Bye. Have a great night. See you later from Disney's Animal Kingdom. Bye. Bye bye bye. Now I always have to figure out how to turn it off. Bye bye.